Hi everyone, here is our math problem for today. We have here a five-sided concave polygon A, B, C, D, E. There are three right angles as shown in the figure. And the length of side AB is 3 units, side AE is 3 units, side ED is 4 units, and side DC is 5 units. The goal is to find the length of side BC. You can pause the video and see if you can solve this problem. And you can write in the comment section if you already know the answer. Now let's solve this problem together. There are different ways of solving this problem. Some might think of connecting points A and D to form this 3, 4, 5 right triangle and construct also a line segment parallel to side AB and then connect D to that point to form another right triangle. But the problem with that approach is we do not know if we can form a straight line segment here at the bottom. So another approach is we can create a rectangle here. Since it is given to be 90 degrees here and 90 degrees here also, then we know this figure is a rectangle. And so we are now looking at this rectangle AEDF. Now, since we have a rectangle, its opposite sides are equal. So this is three units here, and it's going to be four units here also. Then let's connect points A and C this way. So we are looking now at two right triangles. The first right triangle is this. And from this right triangle, we'll be able to compute the length of side AC because we have here a right triangle. This leg is 5 plus 3, which is 8 units. Side AF is 4 units. So we can compute the hypotenuse AC using Pythagorean formula. And once we know the length of side AC, we have another right triangle here at the top. This leg is 3 units, so we can compute again side BC using another application of Pythagorean formula. So let's compute first the length of side AC. So AC is equal to the square root of the sum of 4 squared and 8 squared for this side FC. Simplifying, this gives us square root of 80. We are going to go back to this result later on. Next, let's look at the other right triangle here. We already know the length of the hypotenuse AC to be square root of 80, and side BC is 3 units, then we can easily compute for the length of side BC, which is the value of X that we want to find out. So again, using Pythagorean formula, X is equal to the square root of the square of the hypotenuse, so we have the square of the square root of 80, minus the square of this leg, so we have 3 squared. The square root of 80 squared is 80, 3 squared is 9, so the square root of 80 minus 9 is square root of 71, which is approximately equal to 8.43, and that is now the measure of x that we would like to find out in this problem. It turned out this problem just needs a little creativity in order to find the length of side pc. If you got the right answer, please write them in our comment section, and please share with your friends so they can get some strategies on how to solve geometric problems. Thank you very much and we hope to see you again in our next video. Bye for now.